Well, thanks to a Boise State professor, an innocent man has been released from prison after spending 26 years behind bars. Lucino Hamilton is now a free man thanks to Greg Hempikian, who's also co-director of the Idaho Innocence Project. Our Joey Prechtel talked to the professor tonight about his involvement in the case and how today marks a significant day for the Idaho Innocence Project. Joey? Right, Gretchen. Well, today marks the second annual National Wrongful Conviction Day in Fort Greg Hampikian. Today is really just a day to let people know about the work that's being done to free people like Lucino Hamilton. Lucino Hamilton was in for 26 years. He was convicted of killing his foster mother, a woman that he said was more like a biological mother to him. Greg Hampinkian is part of the team that helped get Lucino Hamilton out of prison. After spending 26 years, he is now free. We did the analysis here on the new DNA taken from the fingernails of the victim. Uh, and she had fought and uh, there was um, there was some DNA under her nails. And that DNA did not match Hamilton. And that was kind of the, the linchpin. I provided a report uh, and things move very quickly. It's just the latest achievement of Hempikian. He was the man who helped the Cannon County Sheriff's Office find the suspect accused of raping and killing nine-year-old Daryl and Johnson. Charles Fain had originally been convicted for this but was exonerated back in 2001. He also helped exonerate Christopher Tapp of Idaho Falls after he was wrongfully convicted for the rape and murder of Angie Dodge back in 1998. Who is in prison and uh, freed partly by, by our efforts. And Friday happens to be National Wrongful Conviction Day, a day that is meant to remind people about the importance of Hempikian's work. We're learning so much. This, this day is about trying to boost awareness, get people to go to the resources and boost awareness to help exonerate people like Hamilton. Yeah, this started for him in 1994 when his foster mother was killed and uh, you know, he was convicted at 20, but you know, his life has been this, this whole story. In this past legislative session, Hampikian also worked to get those who have been wrong, wrongfully convicted in the state of Idaho compensated. The bill made it through the House, it made it through the Senate, but then Governor Brad Little actually vetoed it after speaking with Hampikian tonight, Gretchen. He told me that he plans on bringing the bill back, a similar version of the bill back next legislative session. Back to you. All right, thanks for that report, Joey.